Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Gamer Pie. This is Let's Play Kirby's Dream Land 2 Part 3. Last time, I almost rage quit on Iceberg because that rainbow drop is notoriously evil. This time, we're going on to a less evil world. Alright. Now, right now, we're using Kine. Kine is a terrible choice for this world, so we're going to be switching him out fairly soon. By fairly soon, I mean immediately. Alright, time to fight against Master Green. That's this guy's name, by the way. We have a, uh... Jellyfish guy named Master Green. Alright, time for my favorite animal helper, Rick. Yes, much better. Rick is useful in the mountain area because... Because... He was... On the title card for this world for some reason. I don't know, but Rick is awesome, so who cares? Look at me just speed through everything at the speed of hamster. Now you see, Rick's uh, electric ability is the beam ability, which is the first time that it was uh, associated with electricity. However, in future games, whenever electricity becomes an element that can affect the world around you, uh, the beam ability has the electrical element on it. So, in a sense, the reason why Beam today is electrical is because of Rick, back in here. Now, animal partners are bigger than Kirby, so they can't just fall through or squeeze through one block. They generally need two block space. That's something that I'm sure that you've probably noticed by now. But, um, you know, I figured I might as well mention it. And Rick is adorable whenever he's using his electrical abilities. Then again, Rick is a hamster. He's always adorable. Except whenever he can't fight against a Shotso. Fortunately, the Shotso has no interest in actually shooting me, so it doesn't matter. Faster than a speeding bullet, Rick the hamster escapes the cannonball shot. Oh, well, not quite. Uh, yeah, uh, that was our first armored opponent. Armored opponents are not nearly as easy to beat. They can't be inhaled. And, uh, they're immune to some attacks. We'll be dealing with more of those later. Alright, time for more hamster power! Rainbow power? <laughs> screw that. Hamster power's where it's at. Nothing has anything on this guy. I am so sad that Nerf got, that uh, Rick got nerfed in Kirby's Dream Land 3. Seriously, his beam ability in that game? Not nearly as much range, and way slower. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna shoot my star at this guy, because this is not doing much, much damage at all. Alright, so yeah, this is our little ninja guy. He gives the Cutter ability. I remember back whenever I first played the game, I was terrible at fighting this guy. And we get Gooey, because we already have Rick. But yeah, Rick, such a boss, he throws Kirby as a weapon. It doesn't even really get worse underwater, it just sort of... It's now underwater. But we are in a keep moving section, and this can be rather difficult. Especially since Rick's underwater mobility isn't exactly the greatest. Just keep attacking everything off screen. Also, keep moving. For the love of everything hamster, keep moving. Oh no, I have to leave Rick. Goodbye, Rick. We knew you well. Yeah, if I hadn't tossed away Rick at that moment, I would have gotten crushed. It was kind of a bad move on my part. Fortunately, while we do need Rick for this world rainbow drop, we don't need him yet. Well, we can grab him again. Oh, yeah. Just take the hit. That's kind of what you have to do in those situations. 
whenever you run into one of those enemies, and there's nothing around to inhale, and there's no copy ability to use, you just gotta suicide it. It's a good thing that Kirby does collision damage to his enemies. But yes, this is the first instance in which we really have a choice between which animal helpers that we want to use. This doesn't happen very frequently in this game, because generally, if you're given a choice to have an animal helper, you need that animal helper for whatever platforming or challenge is about to come up. Here, this level is just like, here, have all of them. They'll all be useful at some point, probably. Oh, right, yeah. Rick can't inhale underwater. That's why you gotta stay on the land with him. Get out of here, Eel Eel. Or however you pronounce that. Oh. Oh no! Fortunately, no rainbow drops are in this area, so even though I missed some stuff, it doesn't matter. Hey guys, guys, wanna see how useful Rick's needle ability is? Look at that! That is so terrible! You can't even hold it out forever, it, la it only lasts a second or two. But yeah, you have to turn around if you want to use this move. It's bad. Oh, no! Die. Yeah, needle ability doesn't really get improved with animal helpers. Ku only uses needle downward, Rick only uses needle backward, and Kine is exactly the same as Kirby. There we go. Also, an animal helper's health overrides Kirby's health. So if you lose your animal helper, you're left with whatever health you had whenever you originally picked him up. That was weird. Kirby's bounce made it so that I couldn't jump back up. Anyway, I think we're gonna need Rick for this level. Because this is the level with the uh, rainbow drop in it. This rainbow drop is kind of a breather compared to the previous one and the next one that we'll be getting. But it's still fairly difficult. Yeah, as you can see, the propeller does not attack me because I do not have an animal helper. Alright. Here we have this guy, the captain. You can't hurt him whenever he has his spikes out, he's like a Gordo in that manner. But whenever he shoots his spikes at you, or generally loses his spikes, he is vulnerable. Uh, that's terrible. There we go. Now we get the needle ability again! And we get Rick again! We do need Rick, but we don't need the needle ability, so we'll just, just get rid of that. We don't need the fire ability either, but, uh, it won't hurt in this area. Flaming napalm hamsters! Oh, oh well. Gordo, don't... Nope, 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 get away from me, Gordo. Alright, we need to get in that door. I would really like some help, but I don't think I'm getting any anytime soon. Also, while regular Kirby can duck, he can't duck with any of his helpers. Which is kind of strange. I might die. Oh no! I did not expect that eel eel to come out of there. I have no idea how to pronounce that thing's name. It's the eel. Oh. I am just being careless right now. This is bad. Real- Oh, wait, no, we don't need Rick in this level. We need Rick in the next level. Never mind. I'm being ridiculous again. I don't know if we'll get Rick in the next level, though. I guess we can see. I don't think we will. We do need Spark, so may as well just keep this ability. In case we do happen to run into Rick here. Ah, oh, what? 
You gotta be kidding me. Oh yeah, Kirby can um, spit water in different directions whenever he's on his own. Can't do that with a helper for some reason. Let's go here. Yeah, I think we missed out on Rick. Have to come back to this level. Oh well, here we have a keep moving section. It's cool. It can get kind of tricky. As you can see here, I am barely making it and I'm needing to use the ability to fly. The power of flight, as given by Lady Pelotena. Oh. <laughs> uh, what? That was weird. Here we go. Yeah, this room is kind of annoying, it's very long, it's rather hard. Generally very difficult. Perhaps one of the most difficult single rooms in the game. And we have to get through it with, uh, Rick, while having Spark. Fortunately, as a master of hamsters, I can do such feats. Yeah, yeah, we know Master Pingy. Anyway, let, let's just leave the room. There's nothing here for us. Oh, you can't keep the umbrella out forever. That's a Anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna go get Rick and uh, come back to this level. Uh, I'll see y'all here in a second. And I'm back to show you all how to use the power of hamsters. Now, let's just go back to the fifth level here. Get rid of our little fire ability that I had, because I got um, Rick back in 1-2. One, one, and it's time to unleash the power of hamsters onto these people. You, too, shall see the power of hamsters! Except, the power of hamsters isn't all that great whenever the hamster is underwater. Oh well, it doesn't matter too much. There are still more uh, spark enemies over on the other side of this water. Just gotta get past all these squishies. Here we go. An electrical hamster. Well, hey, I get a maximum tomato in here. But anyway, this is the... This is running into an electrical enemy. This is the correct way to go. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Alright, let's keep moving. Mock speed hamster. Fortunately, being the faster character, Rick can get through this room, the horizontal segments anyway, fairly easily. It's the vertical segments that he isn't so good at. Alright, we're nearly there. Very good. Now, as you can see, the reason why we need our electrical ability here is to get past these. But not only those, but these as well. And then we need to throw Rick away. Because he can't make that jump. There we go! Alright. So now we have... The bosses of this area, Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. We're gonna be fighting them as Kirby alone. 
Oh, well, that was unexpected. Uh-oh. They're using their solar eclipse attack! The solar eclipse attack is very dangerous. Don't get hit by it. It's basically a screen clear. The only safe spot is the shadow that uh, the moon character provides. I can't ever remember which one is Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright, so... Yeah, that's why I'm not specifying. Alright, we've defeated the sun, now it's time to defeat the moon. Back in uh, Kirby's adventure, the sun represented the fire ability, and the moon represented the cutter ability for some reason. You can still see this as he, st as he still throws cutters at you. You can't actually get the cutter ability from his moves, though. Nope. Stand in the safe spot to remain safe. I like to think that the sun's energy actually reflects off of the moon, and that's why it can actually create a screen clear. And that's why the shadow is actually necessary for them to use their attack. Alright, Kirby doing the dance! Good job, Kirby, you kicked some butt. Alright, next time on Kirby's Dream Land 2, we go onward to Cloudy Park, the land of owls and fish. I'll see y'all next time.